hello friends so in the previous video we have just started with the definition of voltage regulation right so the voltage regulation definition is basically the change in the secondary voltage from the no load condition to the full load condition but keeping in mind that the applied voltage is constant as well as it is defined for a fixed power factor okay so these things should not change so from that we wrote a basic equation a very basic equation that the voltage regulation value is equal to v1 dash minus v2 divided by v1 dash because we are referring it to the secondary side so we can write the percentage regulation to be equal to v1 dash minus v2 divided by v1 dash into 100 so this is what we have seen in the previous video so today we are going to derive an approximate equation for voltage regulation okay so this is the approximate equation for voltage regulation why it is approximate i will just uh, tell you in a minute so let us draw the phasor diagram now so you can clearly see we are not uh, using the field concepts etc we are just using the terminal values for uh, drawing the phasor diagram so this is v2 so we'll draw for the lagging load okay so we'll draw for the lagging load here so this is v2 and let this be the i2 value so this will be theta2 so the, the angle between v2 and i2 is theta2 and cos theta2 will be the load power factor remember that it is the load power factor all these things will be very important in future so cos theta2 is clearly the load power factor okay so you know that the equation is very simple so v1 dash is equal to v2 plus i2 re2 plus j into i2 into xe2 there is no problem in writing this equation once again i will write it continuously so once at least when you see me writing it continuously you will remember all these things properly okay so this is i2 re2 i'll just draw it a little bit bigger because uh, we will need to use this to derive some things here so let me just draw it a little bit bigger here so this is i2 into re2 okay in phase with i2 and this value will be j into i2 into xe2 okay so this angle will be 90 degree and finally this value will be equal to the v1 dash value right this value is v1 dash value now what is the approximation i am going to make here is that so let's just uh, mark some points here so this is o this is a and this is b okay these are uh, different points i have marked here what i am going to do is just, i am just going to project this oa into this line here I just extended these two lines here like this. So V2 I have just extended a line and from this I have extended a line here. So what I am going to tell here is that this point let us call it as this value. So OA where the horizontal projection is OC. OA's horizontal projection is OC. I am going to assume that OA is approximately equal to OC. So this is my approximation which I am making. That is the horizontal projection of V1 dash. I am approximating it to be the equal to the value of OA or V1 dash. So horizontal projection of V1 dash is equal to V1 dash. That is the approximation I am making. That is why this is called the approximate equation of voltage relation. But the error is not much. Okay? There is no need to worry. There is not much error here. So we are having one point here now OC. So OC value will be equal to V1 dash. Okay, OC value will be equal to V1 dash. So we have already seen magnitude of V1 dash will be greater than V2 in a lagging load. So in the previous video we saw that. That is V1 dash will be equal to greater than V2 and regulation is positive. Right. This is what we have seen in the previous video. So now we can uh, have some more points here. So this angle is theta 2. Right. This angle is theta 2. That means this angle also is theta 2. What do you call them? This is called corresponding angles. Okay. So I can just uh, put a vertical projection here like this. Okay. I can call this point as D. I can call this point as D. So this point BD here. So this point is B. So BD value will be nothing but the horizontal projection of this I2 RE2. Right. BD will be equal to horizontal projection of I2 RE2. So in this case it will be I2 RE2 into cos theta2. Okay. We will write everything uh, clearly. So it's not an issue here. <coughs> now, another value is this value here. Okay. So the C point, I'll just bring it down. And this value also, I'll bring it down here. Okay. Clearly, this DC value here, this value here, DC, will be nothing but this vector in the horizontal direction. Right. This vector, if I resolve in the horizontal direction, that value will be DC. Okay. So that also we will see. Okay, for that we need this particular angle, right? So this angle will be how much? This angle will be, now this is theta 2, this is 90, so this will be 90 minus theta 2, right? This angle will be 90 minus theta 2. And if this angle is 90 minus theta 2, 
this angle will be 90 minus theta 2. Why? These are called adjacent angles. All your 10th class trigonometry is useful here. No? So, this angle, angle D, we can call it as some x, dx, d, uh, let's not call anything. You can understand it directly. So, this angle here, which I am showing here, is 90 minus theta 2. That will be equal to this particular angle here, which is 90 minus. So, adjacent angles here. So, we can write the value of uh, BD and DC here. So, why should we write all these things at the first place? Okay. So, we are basically going to derive the voltage regulation equation. right? So, what is voltage regulation? Voltage regulation is equal to V1 dash minus V2. Okay. So, what is V1 dash value here? V1 dash value is nothing but OA, but that is also equal to OC from here to here. So, this value is equal to OC minus V2. So, what is V2 value? V2 value is OB. This is B. So, V2 value is OB, right? This entire vector length is V2. So, V2 value is OB. So, OC minus OB, see this vector from here to here minus the vector from here to here is nothing but BC. So, this value is BC. So, what is the BC value now? The BC value is nothing but BD plus DC. Okay. So, the BC value is nothing but BD plus DC. I think it's very clear. I will tell it once again. OC is the value from here to here. From that you are subtracting OB. Right. So, the rest value will be BC. So, from here to here. So, BC value is nothing but BD plus DC. Okay. So, now let's find what is the BD value. So, BC value is equal to BD plus DC and that is nothing but the voltage regulation. Right, voltage regulation from this definition we are putting it here. So, what is BD value here? So, BD value is nothing but I2 RE2 into cos theta 2, right? I2 RE2 cos theta 2. Clearly, BD value is the horizontal projection of B, this value here, right? So, this vector here I2 into RE2, see this vector is I2 RE2. So, I2 RE2 cos theta 2 will be equal to BD. I hope it's clear. And what is uh, DC value equal to? DC value is nothing but this vector resolved in the horizontal component, right? So, I2 Xe2 into cos of 90 minus theta 2, right? So, DC value is I, uh, I2 Xe2. Of course, we are only going to take the magnitude because the regulation we are uh, taking the magnitude values only. So, it is this vector resolved in the horizontal side. So, I2 Xe2 cos 90 minus theta 2. So, this is nothing but I2 Xe2 sin theta 2, right? Cos 90 minus theta is sin theta. So, I can write the final voltage regulation equation to be equal, equal to, uh, this. there is this V1 dash also here, right? So, this there is V1 dash also here. And this BC is nothing but the voltage drop, right? V1 dash minus V2 is nothing but the voltage drop. So, BC ultimately is the voltage drop of the transformer, okay? So, this voltage regulation or let us just uh, write it like this. So, V1 dash minus V2 is nothing but BC, that is I2 RE2 cos theta 2, right, plus I2 Xe2 sin theta 2, right. So, to find the regulation value, regulation is how much? V1 dash minus V2 divided by V1 dash, right. So, we have to derive, uh, divide this by V1 dash. So, this becomes I2 RE2 cos theta 2 divided by V1 dash plus I2 Xe2 divided by V1 dash into sin theta 2. Okay. So, this is for the regulation equation for the lagging loads. For This is for the lagging loads. Now, let us draw for the leading loads. Okay. So, we will draw for the leading loads. So, we have to again start from the basic diagram. So, this is V2. Okay. And for leading load, current will be leading. Right. So, this is theta 2. Current is leading. So, this value is I2 into RE2. And this value will be J into I2 into Xe2, right? And uh, this value is V1 dash, right? So, this is O, A, B. Okay, so again I am going to take the horizontal projection here and let us call it as say C. Okay, let us call it as C value here, okay? So, O A is approximately equal to O C. O A is approximately equal to O C. That means these two values are v1 dash value. Okay. So, uh, what is the uh, v1 dash minus v2? Okay. There is no point in telling v1 dash minus v2. Clearly, v1 dash is less than v2, right? 
So we will take v2 minus v1 dash here. So v2 minus v1 dash value will be equal to how much? It is OB minus OC, right? OB minus OC. So this value is nothing but BC value here. So it is this particular value here. So we have to find that value also. So we will take multiple projections here. So we can uh, call this point D here. Okay. So this angle is theta 2, right? So therefore this angle also will be equal to theta 2. Okay. So this angle is also theta 2. Now we can, uh, you have to resolve this I2 XE2 also. So we will make a small projection here like this. Okay. So this point is AD, right? This point is AD and it is same as CD. AD and CD are the same point approximately. So this AD value also we have to find. So for that we can use this particular vector here I2 into XE2. So for that before that we have to find some angles here again. So we can find that. So this angle is 90 minus theta 2, right? So this angle is 90 theta 2. So this is 90 minus theta 2. That means this angle will be 90 minus theta 2, right? Vertically opposite angles. So this angle is 90 degree. Clearly this angle, total angle is 90 degree. So this angle will be theta 2. Okay, so this angle will be theta 2. So we can write this BC value. This BC value is nothing but uh, we can write it as CD that is this from here to here minus BD. Right. And CD value is nothing but equal to the AD value. So I will write it is as AD minus BD. Okay. So what is AD value? AD value is the, uh, you can uh, resolve this vector and you will find that it is the vertical component of I2 XE2. So I can uh, write that. So I2 XE2, a vertical component, right? So it is sin theta 2. So this is sin component and this is cos component. We want this particular component. So it is I2 XE2 sin theta 2 minus, what is BD value here? BD value is, this is I2 RE2, right? This is I2 RE2. So the horizontal projection here. So it is I2 RE2 into cos theta 2. So that is V2 minus V1 dash. This value which I have found is V2 minus V1 dash. But for regulation, we want V1 dash minus V2, right? So the percent, so the regulation value will be V1 dash minus V2 divided by V1 dash. So I have to uh, multiply by negative sign throughout because I am changing the signs here. So this will be equal to, this is V2 minus V1 dash. I am putting V1 dash minus V2. So this is I2 RE2 cos theta 2 minus I2 XE2 sin theta 2. Okay. And you can divide by V1 dash both sides. So this is for the leading case, right? So this is for the leading case. So you, let us write these two equations together now. For the lagging case, V1 dash minus V2 divided by V1 dash was equal to I2 RE2 divided by V1 dash cos theta 2 plus I2 XE2 divided by V1 dash into sin theta 2. This was for the lagging case. For the leading case, it will be V1 dash minus V2 divided by V1 dash, that is the regulation value. So regulation, leading case regulation value is I2 RE2 cos theta 2 divided by V1 dash minus I2 XE2 sin theta 2 divided by V1 dash. Both the derivations we have seen. So we can write a general equation that is the regulation of the transformer will be equal to I2 RE2 cos theta 2 divided by V1 dash plus or minus I2 XE2 sin theta 2 this theta 2 is there divided by V1 dash where plus is for the lagging load and minus is for the leading load. Okay. So I hope things are clear here. Now you can clearly see this is nothing but the resistance voltage drop divided by the uh, base value. Right. Actual resistance drop by base value. So what is that? That is per unit resistance. Similarly, this is the reactance drop divided by base value. So this is the per unit reactance. We have already seen this when in that uh, video which I have explained per unit values for transformers. So I can write the regulation will be equal to RPU cos theta 2 plus or minus XPU sin theta 2. Okay. Or I can write percentage regulation of the transformer will be equal to percentage resistance cos theta 2 plus or minus percentage reactance sin theta 2. Okay. So all these equations are very, 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 very important. Okay. So this is the general equation 
plus for lag and minus for lead and this is also very very important all these equations are very very important so equation number one equation number two equation number three and equation number four okay so you've clearly seen just to make it percentage i have just converted everything into percentage all these uh, things will be much much more clear when you do numericals associated with the regulation that we will do in the next session we will do some simple numericals just to get a hold on this equation so basically what we have seen today as a summary if you see we saw the approximate equation for voltage regulation of the transformer so we can write the regulation the regulation of the transformer is nothing but i2 re2 divided by v1 dash cos theta 2 plus or minus i2 xc2 divided by v1 dash into sin theta 2 right so plus is for lag loads and minus is for lead loads and we also found out that the regulation value is equal to rpu cos theta 2 plus or minus xpu sin theta 2 right so the percentage regulation will be equal to percentage resistance cos theta 2 okay plus or minus percentage reactance sin theta 2 okay so this regulation will be v1 dash minus v2 by v1 right and the percentage regulation will be v1 dash minus v2 divided by v1 into 100 okay so that is the basic uh, definition here so rpu if you multiply it by 100 you will get percentage resistance xpu if you multiply 100 you get percentage reaction. usually in the numericals uh, they give in as given information they give say like this percentage resistance of the transformer is 2 percentage percentage reactance of the transformer is say 4 percentage they will give like that so you can select any one of this formula and you can do the problem accordingly so if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel make sure that you share these videos with your friends if they are having any <coughs> difficulty in understanding all these topics not only these topics but topics like engineering circuit analysis dc machines and transformers unless you share these videos the vision of the channel of bringing such videos to a higher number of people for free will not be fulfilled so please share these videos so till i see you in the next video it's me varun signing off and have a great day. thank you